Right now, I am in Keshem Island in the southern part of Iran. You can see it's tropical, it's beautiful. We have the Persian Gulf right here. And I'm with three incredible Iranian friends. Right now, we're going to take a boat ride to a little island called Hangam. And together, we are going to wander around. I'm going to show you the beauty of this place. We got Hamza in the house. We got Shakib. What's up, Shakib? And we got Amin. What's up, dude? Are you ready? Yes, ready <laughs> to take this boat to go right. to Hangam Island. Yes, sir. Yeah. Our driver looks like he's about to rob a bank. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Are you serious? You have to explain that I'm a foreigner. Yeah, because you're new here. Apparently, I can't visit without getting a, a official. We, we walk through the village. Yeah. We go up there. We gotta let them know that I'm coming. Yeah, some paperwork. That's how it goes. We travel to countries like Iran. We need to register our entrance. My entrance. Your entrance as a tourist to this island. So we take this motorbike to go to the police station we have there. Give them some documents, some uh, do some paperwork, and that's it. All right, cool. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. More questions. More questions. At this point, I'm numb to this stuff. To checks, passport checks, border crossings, police stations. But I'm not getting detained now. We're good. All good? Yes, all good. It says camping is uh, not allowed. American goes to hotel. This is. I said yes. We are in hotel. Well, I'm not sleeping here. No, I told him that yeah. we are not sleeping here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Merci. Bye -bye. Hello, Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. What's your name? Yes. I have to go back to America. They deported me. <laughs> so let's go and explore Hangam Island. We will go to the to the village market and we'll wander around the, the island. I love markets, man. You know that. Yeah. There's a lot of Iranian backpackers here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I told you. It's many of the uh, hippies, especially hippies, young yeah. boys. <laughs> We just entered a really cool little market right on the beach. This is like the major market of the town? Yes, uh, so because many Iranian travelers come here, so the local people made this market selling food, selling local dresses. This is extremely hippie vibes. This is an Iranian vacation. Look around me. It's all Persians from all over the country who come here to go to the market, to hang out, take selfies. What a vibe. I yes, mean, yes. what do we have here? So uh, we can see uh, these local ladies are uh, making samosa, the Indian food, yeah, but with uh, shrimp and fish. So 1,650,000, <laughs> which is almost how many dollars? A few dollars. About, uh, seven seven dollars. Seven dollars. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, seven more expensive dollars. than I thought it would be. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. How is it? Really good. good. Really fresh, man. I love samosa. They got deep fried, with fresh fish inside of it. When you eat this, you feel like you're on the on the sea. Yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Really fascinating to be here right now. Like everyone looks at me like surprised because they've never seen in a while a tourist here. Also because COVID just ended and Iran just opened up to tourism. But it's fun to walk around places like this. I enjoy it a lot. That is perfume and other items that you, they got from Dubai and they smuggled it here to sell it on the black market. That's what we just saw. Dubai is so close to here. She feels relaxed. If she doesn't smoke that, sometimes she gets headache. But when she smokes that, she feels relaxed. Tell her for me it's the exact opposite. She said no, I feel relaxed after smoking that. Wow. Alright, we're about to take a tuk-tuk to the other side of the island because why not? Alright. <laughs> 
here for about like 50, 55 years. Mm, and it has been good for them, so now the numbers are quite high. Mm. Well, that was a great experience on uh, this little island here. Now we're gonna take a boat back to the other island, the bigger island, get some food and uh, call it a day. This guy has uh, made up some traditional Arabic food and also some seafood nice. and also he has made the first floor he has made some of the traditions of the local people Beautiful. of the village like the wedding room it's gonna be quite interesting Beautiful, so we are heading for lunch now at the local traditional restaurant <laughs> Whoa. And if you want to see the most bling bling wedding room Bling bling. The local in the village. I love that you just said bling bling. I've got the wedding. The first night of the bride and groom will be in such a room. Mm. Can I go in here after your wedding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eating any round is always an incredible experience, and we're about to do it right now. Nice salad. It has a chunk of bread. Bread. Crouton. Onion uh, salad from here. This is a very uh, typical dish from this region. We call it havari. With fish, rice, spices, fish, cilantro. Yeah. Shrimp stew. Spice. It's like an Indian. Yeah, very yeah. similar to Indian. Yeah, this, this is very Indian. It's like kind of a curry fish stew. Yes. And this is curry lamb. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that smells amazing. It's a fusion. You have Arabic influence, you have Indian influence, Iranian influence, American influence. <laughs> you have everything in one. Oh man. You guys ready to feast right now? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, is this a beef? No. Fish. Fish, yeah. Careful with the bones. This guy is bursting with flavor. A little bit spicy too. Mm. These deserve some attention. This is basically green olives with pomegranates and walnuts mixed inside. Fesenjan? Is that what it's called? No, no. Fesenjan. Uh, it's similar. Pomegranate sauce and walnut, but this is. Oh. Every day I eat this. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So this is a very uh, typical dessert from this region. We have dates and tahini. Mm. They complement each other perfectly. So good. All right, time for some chai. As I always say, always tea time in Iran. Yes. All throughout the day. So it's mixed with cinnamon. Nice. That's the reason the color is like orange kind of? Orange color, yeah, it's uh, lighter than normal tea. Yeah, sweet cinnamon tea. It's just like the one we had last night. Well, that was truly an incredible day here. An incredible experience in Geshem Island with my buddies. They went back in the hotel. Just wanted to pop in here and say thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed uh, this journey. Planning to do a lot more of these videos, just kind of random adventures in random countries because that's what it's all about. Comment below, let me know where you're from, where you're watching this, and with that all being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm Drew Binsky, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe down there if you want to see more inspiring people stories and check out my main channel below where I bring you on the most epic adventures from every country. Also, I'm giving away for free all of my best travel tips and secrets for finding cheap flights on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.